10 months ago when author Salman Rushdie was attacked on stage, the Chautauqua Institution was thrust into the international spotlight. But most of us know it for the beautiful grounds, educational programming, a summer retreat. Now, with enhanced security, the institution is ready to move forward and kick off its nine-week summer season with Bonnie Raitt this Saturday. That concert is one of hundreds on the schedule. This is the Chautauqua Institution's summer guide. It's so dense and long, I know you can't read that at home, but more than 100,000 people visit each year to see these many activities. And first on two, we're now getting a look at this new study that really shows the massive economic impact that the institution has on Chautauqua County, Western New York, and really the entire state. And it shows ticket sales are coming from all over the U.S. And take a look at this. These are the states with the most visitors. New York and Pennsylvania top the list, of course. But people living in Ohio, Virginia, Maryland are also buying up a lot of tickets. And people come from as far away as Florida, North Carolina, and the West Coast in California. These are tourist dollars coming directly to Chautauqua County, helping generate more than 3,200 jobs and $233 million in economic impact. Earlier this week, I spoke about all of this with Dr. Michael Hill, the president of the Chautauqua Institution. He talked about the new report and how it can play an even bigger role in Western New York in the years to come. And Dr. Hill, we appreciate you coming in to talk to us about this. So just went over some of the numbers there in terms of the economic impact um, that you now have to, to be able to show people with the Chautauqua Institution. Anything in this report surprise you or what is your biggest takeaway as you kind of look at the numbers here? I think the big takeaway is this is our 150th season, next year our 150th birthday. And this report just underscores what we've long believed, which is we're an anchor institution. We contribute broadly to the economic and cultural health of the region. And in the nation, and we're really excited to see the numbers. A report like this isn't cheap. A couple dozen pages, lots of lots of numbers, lots of charts and graphs. Why why commission this? And what were sort of some of the goals that you hope to get out of it? Sure. Well, we're always trying to ascertain how we can play a, a bigger and bigger role in the life of our county, of the state, of the nation. And these numbers just affirm the contribution that we make, not only in Chautauqua County but beyond. Uh, staggering to think of half of all of the tourism dollars in our county come from one institution, ours. Uh, nearly a quarter of a billion dollars in economic impact to Western New York. So we're really proud of the role we play. And part of the reason for commissioning the study is to give us uh, a starting point as we think about our future beyond our 150th birthday. So in terms of visitors, um, I was surprised to see 100,000 people right. a year. That's I right. guess I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's always mobbed there yeah. during the summer months especially. Um, but this report also really tells you where those people are coming from, which can help you as, as you're devising out plans. That's right. Um, and then how much money they're spending. And what did yeah. you learn about who is coming to the institution? Well, certainly um, proud that uh, the city of Buffalo represents our largest population. But the other thing that this report tells us is while we've long enjoyed regional support from Buffalo and Cleveland and Pittsburgh. We've now branched out across the country, significant population in Florida, and we're starting to see a presence of people coming from the other coast and really internationally, which this report doesn't cover. So 100,000 people, again, is a big number. Do you expect to grow that, or are you at a point where it's kind of like, that's a lot of people, maybe we've hit capacity. I mean, how does that help you determine what you're gonna do in the future? Yeah, we absolutely expect to grow it. And that 100,000 figure just represents what we do mostly in the summer. So you think about the nine weeks, a little bit on the shoulder seasons of what we do for activity is 100,000 people. The institutions really made a claim toward more year round engagement and really becoming an important voice for our nation and for the world beyond just the summer. So we think that number will continue to grow. You mentioned 150 years. Uh, it's a big birthday, no doubt. Um, that's a long time to be in business, so to speak. Um, in terms of this anniversary and as you're preparing for it next year and yeah. marking this big milestone, what do you have planned and, and what should we look forward to? Well, you mentioned it's a 150th season this season and so all of the uh, traditional outlets that people come to love about Chautauqua, you know, early on we'll have Frankie Valley and Diana Ross, Bonnie Raitt's already sold out. Um, amazing, amazing political speakers that uh, we are using to demonstrate that while the nation may be divided, it's still possible to have a conversation. Early in week one, Cornell West and Robert George, ideologically different, Cornell West now a presidential hopeful, right. talking about how it's actually possible 
it for coming from political differences to still engage in the life part of the country. So we're excited about that. And then for our 150th birthday, it's a really big deal. Our sesquicentennial uh, will continue not only the things that you would expect to see in a, in a summer, uh, but a lot of other special activities we'll be announcing soon. You mentioned um, this report really yeah. helps you understand where you are and where you want to grow. Um, how will that process sort of play out as you kind of crunch these numbers and, and develop an even longer term plan? Well, I think it tells us where we have geographic interest and allows us to lean more heavily into those areas, but also tells us where there's uh, pockets of people that we think might be interested in our work that we can attract to come here to Western New York. And we're really proud of that leadership role that we play. It's interesting when you said the city of Buffalo uh, is the number one sort of yeah. concentration of visitors. For people who are watching who maybe have heard about the Chautauqua Institution for a long time, yeah. always in the news, right? You get yeah. these world-renowned speakers and so forth. Um, what is the pitch to why folks, if they've never been, yeah. need to check it out? Well, there's really something for everyone at Chautauqua. We're, we're organized around four pillars. And so certainly there's great speakers that come from politics or the arts or religion, but we're also a major concert venue. You know, we bring some concerts throughout uh, the season that people would know of and it's a great recreation spot we're situated right on a lake there we have a golf course there's wonderful boating and other activities to do so what I would say to folks from Buffalo is regardless of what your summer passion is we probably have it and I hope you'll come see us finally talk to me about the the significance you touched on this at the beginning but the significance the institution plays especially in Chautauqua County um, and how important to to the tax base and to the, the tourism industry in, in that part of Western New York. Well, yeah, again, we, we're really proud of the role that we play. Um, property owners that have homes on our grounds represent only 2% of the population, but provide 15% of the total tax base for our county. When you think about schools and roadways and other things, that's a really important contribution. And not only the nearly quarter of a billion dollars that we provide to Chautauqua County, but there's a ripple effect on that um, that continues throughout the year from our property owners and outside restaurants and hotels and gas stations. And so we're really thrilled that uh, in our primary, primarily rural area, we're a leader leading voice and a, and a leading presence in making sure Western New York stays strong. It is a gem, uh, no doubt. Dr. Michael Hill is the president of the Chautauqua Institution here talking to us about uh, this new economic contribution analysis. A lot of really interesting stuff in this. Thanks for helping us understand it. Thanks so much.